Hi, welcome to part two of our shoe design tutorial. I hope you had a good time creating this main object. In part two, we will be creating the sole, which will be this part. So if you're ready, so let's jump right into the process. Now, what we will need to create the sole will be this part of the main object. Select these bottom faces, Shift D that to duplicate and then hit p on the keyboard and select selection to separate by selection which creates a new object from the main object called main.001 hit tab to go to the object mode select the main.001 double click on that to rename it to the soul because that will become the soul now hit num part one again notice that the soul has inherited the modifiers from the parent object which was the main object for the sole, we do not need the solidify modifier. So let's deselect that or just remove that by clicking the X. And then let's hide the main object by clicking this eye icon. Hit tab to go to the edit mode to create our sole. Hit A to select everything. G to pull this up to about here. And then E to extrude to the height of the sole. Now this is what we have for our sole and the effect of the subdivision surface modifier is a bit too much. To solve this, we will need to apply weight to the top and the bottom edges. So I'll click the top edge, shift and select the last two vertices, and then hit N to bring up the bevel weight menu and slide the mean bevel weight to one. Do the same with the bottom. I'll click that, shift, click that, and shift, click the last vertex. Slide that up to one as well. Both of them will turn blue and then hit N to disappear that menu. Now go ahead and add the bevel modifier, which will be the modifier to uh, minimize the effect of the bevel on our sole. At the moment, the amount is 0 0.1, which I believe is too much. And by default, the method for the bevel is angle and it's currently set at 30 degrees, but we want to change that to weight because what we have applied is mean bevel weight. And nothing has happened because we need to put this in between the mirror and the subdivision surface modifier. And as you can see, it has affected the object, but this is not exactly what we are going for. So let's reduce the amount to something very small, like 0 0.001, 0001. And now we have something that is close to our soul. Now with this created, let's Alt Z to see through. So like that, hit tab. What we are creating next is this dent in the sole. To do that, we will slide vertices G, G or G twice, because if we just hit G, we can grab this and it distorts the shape. So G, G is just sliding the vertex along the edge. G, 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 G and slide that. Okay. Do the same with this one. G, G, slide that. G, G and slide that. Now let's bevel these edges. Control B by 0 0.02. Control B that 0 0.02. You could eyeball this, but I just want this to have a uniform amount. Control B 0 0.02. Do the same with this one. Control B. Now let's hit three to go to face select and select the top face. Hit non part one. Zoom in closer. GZ to pull this down. R to rotate and then S to scale it in. G to grab it, S to scale it out a bit more. Do the same with the other face. Select that face. Zoom it closer, G, R to rotate, S to scale it in. And there we have it. Now select these last faces and then G, Y to 0 0.02 as well. Alt Z to see what we have created so far. Now this is not so crisp like a reference image. To make that crisp, let's go into the edge select mode. Hit two on the keyboard and alt z to go to the x-ray view and select these inner faces these inner edges bring up the main bevel weight and slide that up to one as well now alt z to see what we have created and that's looking a lot more like a soul now we can bring the main object to see how that sits as you can see it almost sits nicely although not perfectly and that's okay because we have an opportunity to modify the sole to fit nicely so to do that 
go back into the edit mode hit a to select everything gy to pull it out like that is good select these two vertices in front and gx to pull that out like so now this is what we have created in part two of our shoe design tutorial in part three we will be designing um let's hide this too so in part three we will be designing this i believe it's called the uh, swoosh all these parts again thank you for watching this is the end of part two appreciate you for your time see you in part three where we'll design those other parts